Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to develop SPA with AEM. So there are some basic understanding with AEM. Your developer will be creating your features and the functionality for a site means they will be writing the component and other functionalities and business and content author will be creating or editing content. So these two basic principles must be followed for SPA as well. There are some development principle for SPA to be implemented while creating SPA for AEM. Portability. Your component should be portable and usable enough to reuse. Site structure. So your SPA single page application site structure should be as per the normal AEM site. Okay. and content authoring uh, should be performed as a normal site for SPA ap application as well. Your content should be stored in repository. Dynamic rendering. A component should be rendered at client side and the content should be fetched dynamically. Please avoid the client side cache for this tutorial and for the whole this series. So your rendering will be happened by the framework means the SPA implementation framework and that fetch the content dynamically from the repository. Dynamic routing means the navigation should be handled by the SPA framework. For example, let's say I'm using a React framework. So the navigation or routing should be handled at client side by routing framework, but content should be provided by AEM from repository. Let's say you navigate from page one to page two. So the content of page two should be provided, should be delivered by AEM in form of JSON. In normal case, AEM component is rendered at the server side, but SPA, SPA should be rendered at client side as per the concept, right? So we will be creating a component for a specific framework. Let's say for React. So we will be, we'll be creating a React component and then we will match, map AM component to React component. So this AM component will not have any rendering script. This component will be having only dialog and SPA component will be having the rendering, rendering logic. And this SPA component will get content from repository means aim repository in form of json and this whole client side application will be deployed in am in form of client library now your spa component should have a capability for authoring as well as per the am basic principles so for authoring a spa development framework provide a spa editor this spa editor adds the capability of authoring to SPA component. This SPA editor will be provided as per the framework. So for Angular and for React, we have SPA editor. You must understand here SPA and SPA editor. These are two different terms and I will be using these two terms a lot in coming tutorials. So SPA editor is only used to author component. This SPA will not load on published instances. So this will be load only on author instances. So how to create a project? So you will be using the same Maven archetype, what you use for creation of normal uh, projects. Uh, we will pass some specific parameters to create a SPA project and you can create for both React and Angular. So this was the basic conceptual tutorial for understanding AM implementation. In coming tutorial, we'll see that in detail by using demo project or we'll create our own SPA project as well. So if you have any question, please do comment. Thank you.